Well, there's a farm in Mercer County where they do things the old-fashioned way and allow visitors to do the same. The Howell Living History Farm also offers the longest-running corn maze in the state. So, of course, we sent Tori to check it out. She's live at Hopewell Township where she got a chance <laughs> to get her hands and her boots dirty. Uh-oh. Hi, Tori. <laughs> Hey Jazz, hey Yuki, well what's the saying? All work and no play makes Jack a dull boy? Well, all work in the pl plowing the fields and farm here at uh, Howe Living History Farm. It was time to play, but this corn maze behind me, which is the longest running in New Jersey, you might have to just play this one by ear. Take a look. Hey! Isn't it amazing what you can find when you get lost? That's the fun at New Jersey's longest running corn maze at Howe Farm in Hopewell Township. It's part of the Mercer County Park Commission and here you'll either surrender or succeed in this sea of corn stalks. After you clock in, put on your thinking cap and go seeking the game pieces you need to get out. Gotcha. And getting out requires getting to know the farm a little better. We try to theme the maze each year so that it connects with the educational programs and the restoration efforts that are down the road. So when you come this year and you engage in a giant four acre game board made out of corn, um, you also have to learn about the history of nursery rhymes and poetry um, and rhyming songs that are tied to agriculture and farming to make people realize that as you go back in time when there wasn't television and cinema and all these things that people were much better storytellers it was an art that you shared around the table and to get around they do provide some assistance hi everybody i'm your maze master i don't know much about Thing, but I'm going to try to direct you as best as I can. I just feel bad for the people who picked today to play. We found a clue. Where do we go now? Ah, uh, this is overwhelming. Oh. Go left. Oh, that's where my mom can. Follow your mom. Your mo mom always knows. Find the bridge and you will find success. Tough to see the bridge with all the corn stalks, though. <laughs> Fortunately for them, they didn't need me, just their family. Was it? The, the triumph that you could feel all those kiddos that were just running down the bridge after succeeding in this corn maze. It was so contagious. It's fun like this, fun for the whole family that is so wholesome and natural that really just gets me going, right? It's for everybody. It's the simple things in life that sometimes have just uh, the greatest effects on us. And that is definitely this. For more information on the corn maze, which is open on the weekends starting Friday, we'll put a link on CBS Philly. Com. You guys, I'm thinking team building project. I uh, will probably come down from the scaffolding and play the maze with you guys because obviously you could see that my directions probably could have been a little better. All right, well, you'll play the maze with us. We want you to play a game with us right now. Our lovely director, Laura, wants me to ask you this question, this riddle, if you will. What do you call a okay. single solitary piece of corn? Popcorn? Shall we, ladies? <laughs> a a unicorn. unicorn. <laughs> Which is a great show on CBS, by the way. Wow. Oh, nice play. You know, <laughs> I have to admit, our fabulous director may have um, told me about the ear of corn when I said this game you will have to lend oh, an ear to, or I said something oh. like that. She's oh. full of them back she's there. Shout out to our incredible the director. Oh, Laura's going to have to get paid. She's that, on she, today. She, she's she's yeah. on her game. She's got All right. going on. <laughs> she's a little corny. <laughs> oh, we got a million of them, but we have to do weather. We got a million of them. We got to move on. Oh, <laughs> that's good. She's